So part four, April 25th, we're talking about the 27 Club and how 27 means Venn and Gematria and it's connected to Scottish Rite and Left Eye Chile and the JFKs and Biden and this whole November portal connected to April 25th. So these are some people that passed away on April 25th. David A. Kennedy, we went over the Irish Scottish Rite, Harry Belafonte, then you have the Morrison's girlfriend and Lisa Lopez. So this is the people that you might travel with in Astro because they passed away April 25th. So here are some more people that are born April 25th. So you definitely want to look into them to see if you would trust them in a dream. Pope Benedict, don't trust most of the times. If I see a Pope, you not, I'm not talking to you in my dream. So that is a no, no religious people definitely will have you hemmed up, stuck in purgatory. Um, all these people just look into their, um, astral energy be author read the biology biographies they passed away they might be stuck in purgatory if they are do you really want to help them are they helping society would you want them to be back in society always pick people that you think would help society ascend and not people who want to stay in their um, feelings so sometimes people are not done with purgatory and they want to break out and they'll use your energy to break out and sometimes they're living as a pope and they're trying to like spiritually hang on to you so they could they could get better um, avenues to be the boss in their priesthood. So just be careful, religious people and horrible people in your sleep portal and your birthday portal. So when you think about, you know, um, April 25th, just think about Scottish, right? Because you do have Lisa Left Eye Lopez, Chili's Energy, which is a tribute for Mama Bridget. So just think about Redhead, Scottish, right? The number 27, March 17th, St. Patrick's Day, whenever you see that. Birthday, death day, our movie coming out, Swarm came out March 27th. So just know there's the energy that goes on with Scottish Rite Freemasonry and this whole movie Swarm. And with Beyonce, they use her energy to get the swarm of the Little Mermaid psychics to then ritualizely take them. So when you see people pass away, like the girl group 702, one of the women who's a twin passes away, just think 27 backwards is 72. So that was just really a ritual. Even if they pass away of cancer or some type of liver problem, still, you, when you pass away on a certain day, you're going to travel based on your birthday and your death date to see different people. Knowing that the hospitals and medical care is run by a lot of Masonic people, they even have a hospital called like the Scottish Rite, right? So they are doing experiments in there, especially when it comes to open portals. So you passing away of a natural death still could be a portal to others. So just think about um, James the seventh um, passing away the 16th and being born April 14th. April 14th, Usher's birthday. Usher dated Chile. Chile is the tribute from Mama Bridget. Then September 16th, the one, the girl from the um, 702 group, Ulrich, passes away, which goes with September 16th. That's when she passed away. So all you need is Usher to be in the news and her to be in the news, which Usher's in the news for the Super Bowl. And her passing away opens up a portal directly to him so he could tell you who is part of the spiritual world Freemasonry of us, the astral assassins, me, you, and the rest of us who travel to save each other, to cross over, to be free like the underground railroad of consciousness so again mama bridget red here that's for scottish freemasonry chili as her tribute chili is going with left eye tlc chili which goes with usher october 14th birthday chili's birthday is 227 which is my birthday which backward is selena gomez who selena reminds me of selena continuia who was taken out in one of these rituals you have the rooster in 1981 you have that's beyonce's energy so her energy in this the birthday candles on top right here. That's for birthday portals, okay? So Mama Bridget, St. Bridget, Mary Magdalene, and Judas. Judas, the last kiss, okay? Judas, either Mary Magdalene loves Jesus or Judas is selling Jesus out for some coins. Mm -hmm. So remember, Little Mermaid, red hair and blue eyes. That is 17% of the population, very rare. Just think about Lilith and Isis and Mama Bridget all mixed together and Freemasonry. And again, I already talked about how these people are used in the rituals and these companies use this redhead of Pyramid of Ramses, Raggedy Ann doll rituals to take these people out. This is why they have, you know, Beyonce over here with Shania Twain, who's saying like this kiss and last kiss representing the kiss Judah gave to Jesus. And this is why you have the Chucky with the sneakers you know, sneakers like the Black Panthers, which means you're a little bit black, you know. So just remember, see how that 
the colors, the rainbows and the rainbows. So just know that. Because Beyonce is 1981, you're the rooster. Mama Bridget's a tribute is the rooster. I feel like they'd be putting things in the celebrities' faces to see if they know they're in there in a ritual. But celebrities are really say they know things, but they have no idea. They don't even know what's going on. They're just like, hi, why are you wearing a red wig? That's so cool. Meanwhile, you have no idea about the redhead energy, the pyramid of Ramses, and all the rituals done with the psychic energy of redheads. Like even this right here. They have people with a lot of power that wear artificial intelligence that connected to redheads that could communicate with other DNA of redheads to then an astral take them out. So when they go for surgery, what seems like a, oh, I just passed away in my hotel room was like they needed someone to be a portal for a magneto in them. That's spiritual warfare, artificial intelligence, and DNA all connected. Take something, like take some substance, wear artificial intelligence, connect to a redhead, and then you can communicate with everybody on the outside. That's how you do it. So just pay attention whenever you see 27, 227, 722 is Gematria rituals. If you watch Princess and the Frog, you'll see the red head coming right here and the blonde hair. Well, I'm telling you, this is the DNA that is one of the, the oldest DNA, extraterrestrial DNA right here. And blonde hair, blue eyes, dark skin being the Eve DNA. So you have Lilith and you have Eve, also called Isis right here. And like this Mama Bridget, St. Bridget energy. Scottish Rite. So you have Donda West being taken on ritual. You have Jackie O being taken on ritual. But when you watch these movies, you could start seeing these people's faces evolve into the characters. But again, one character could be 10 different birthday portals or a million different birthday portals. One energy is the same energy from one person. It's just certain people are doing certain things. So like they're passing away or they're saving somebody. So if your birthday is like 227 like me and this character's birthday is 227, she could play me and you at different points in our life. And that's what you're seeing in movies. But right now, this is related to Jackie O and this energy of Lilith, Adam, Eve, Osiris. Well, all of them. So look into the Chucky doll child's play because that's a whole ritual where they do the put someone's consciousness into a doll to travel over into the physical realm. So here's some more Scottish Rite Freemasonry. You have the guy Ray Charles, Charles Ray, using the D Dumbala ritual and trying to enter a body. That's why you have, you know, Ray Charles, Charles Ray. December 13th, this birthday of Jamie Foxx, December 13th, he passes away. This is a ritual that he got taken off. This is Twitch Boss, which represents twins. Um, you know, Twitches, twin witches like Tia and Tamara, Doja Cat. So whenever you see these people, 21 reasons, because of 21 divisions in Haitian voodoo, that's why you see 21. February 1st being the feast day for Mama Bridget. So when you find out all the numbers and stuff, everything just starts being a code and you get it. You understand a computer program. Then it could start being like, I don't get it. Once you get the computer program, then everything else starts to make sense. But people who do not get, understand spiritual warfare and how it relates to gematria and numbers and people's names and birthdays, then it's like, sounds like blah, blah, blah. So just if you're born April 25th, just know, like, start to research these things, especially. This could go with anybody because Scottish Freemasonry don't discriminate. So if you're born on any birthday, it's good to know this. But um, we're working on April 25th right now. So that's that. Here's some more Freemasonry, you know, spiritual things. Prince, June 7th, Lance Riddick, June 7th. Them two, King Charles, Queen Elizabeth, they do a lot of Freemason things. So this was all a lot of spiritual warfare. These two passed away. Like I said, you could still pass away in a natural death. Doesn't mean they can't still use your energy to look on the other side. If they know you're going to heaven, they're going to try to ride your tail to heaven, which would be future heaven on earth. Earth will be heaven. They will. Everybody will get along. We will be fine. But we got to get rid of a whole lot of bad energy up in this piece. And the laws and the rules and the money have to change. So learning and upgrading your consciousness by learning about your birthday will help us go a little bit faster. And take a DNA test if you don't, you know, like figure out your bloodline. If you have Scottish or Irish in you, you might as well just start learning this because they're going to try to hijack your consciousness and learn from you in the spiritual realm and sometimes in real life. Some more energy, pop smoke, think about cereal, pops, Kellogg's, all that. Kellogg's used to own a sanitarium. So they did a lot of spiritual work with the cereal. So it's like a cereal, Terminator, cereal. Think about cereal, eating in the morning. Morning is awake. It's the morning. It's a cereal. So like Jeffrey Dahmer, you know what I'm saying? Like that. So just know pop smoke was part of the Scottish Rite Freemasonry. Um, okay. So then go into Scream, okay? Watch that movie. I won't tell you the end, but it has to do with a lot of things. Just know all this is part of the ritual. 
and also the Edom.